morning, everybody, and welcome to East Forsyth High School, home of the Broncos. If you would, please, please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Jeff Bearden. I'm a very proud superintendent of Forsyth County Schools. Thank you all for being here this morning as we prepare to open our eighth high school here in Forsyth County. This one has been a long time coming for this community. The Board of Education and I recognize that the East community has wanting, been wanting this project to come to fruition for many, many years, and now that day has finally arrived. I wanted to introduce our board members that are uh, joining us this morning uh, on stage with me, our board chair, Kristen Morrissey, out in the audience, uh, Lindsay Adams is here this morning. Lindsay, if you could wave to everybody. And Wes McCall. Thank you guys for being here this morning. You can give them a round of applause. <laughs> Especially since I work for them. Uh, I would also like to introduce uh, Nancy Roach is here this morning. Nancy retired from the board back in December. A 20 year board member was very much <laughs> project coming to fruition. I want to thank her for joining us uh, this morning. We also have a number of Forsyth County staff members and principals here this morning. Thank you guys for joining us as we uh, open East Forsyth High School. I also want to take a moment to thank our facility staff. Uh, they have been incredibly busy over the past uh, several years. Uh, thanks to our community, we passed a bond back in 2018 for $295 million, and that bond enabled us to build East Forsyth High School. So when I call your name, if you could please just stand and be recognized, and we'll applaud for all of them at the end. Our Chief Facilities Officer, Matt Ward. Our Director of Construction, Tom Winning. Our Director of Planning, Greg Pruitt. Director of Facilities Planning, Jan Sells. And I also want to introduce uh, a couple of retirees from our Facilities Department who were both very instrumental in East Forsyth High School being built. Our former Director of Planning, Tim Amerson, is here this morning. Tim, thank you for joining us. And our former Chief Facilities Officer, Robert Sewell, is here this morning. Robert, thank you. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> we have built a number of schools, a lot of projects going on in Forsyth County, and our facilities teams, the leadership, and all of the members of the department have done a tremendous job. I want to thank our architectural partner on this project, BRPH for a beautiful design. Uh, once you have an opportunity to tour this facility, I think you'll agree with me. Uh, this is one of the um, most gorgeous high schools you're gonna see in the entire state of Georgia. I wanna thank our construction partners, Carol Daniel, for another outstanding facility. It's been awesome to partner with you guys over the years. The team at BRPH and Carol Daniels are always a pleasure to work with. They have the same goal as we do, and that's to deliver a quality project to the citizens of our community, and it's greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Once we realized we were going to build East, the most important job uh, for myself and the board at that time was to make sure we found the right leader to open East Forsyth High School. And mission accomplished. Mr. Jeff Cheney is an experienced, outstanding leader. While Jeff possesses many talents, I believe his greatest gift is building a sense of community. This school is not even open yet, but with Jeff's leadership, Community building has already begun here at East. He has hired an outstanding leadership team, quality teachers, and outstanding support staff. And Jeff Cheney has East Forsyth High School prepared for students. And we have a number of students here today, and I'm really glad to see our kids dressed in the East attire. So, Jeff, thank you so much for your hard work and your dedication. Please join me in thanking Jeff Cheney.
Darla Light, the district chair, district uh, board event person, was supposed to be here today. She really wanted to be here, but she had an activity plan that was done long before this event was to be here. And I know her heart breaks to not be here today, but her heart is with us today. So she's not here, and she misses that very much. And then also uh, our board member Tom Cleveland was not able to be with us as well. Well, today is the day. Today we celebrate an exciting moment in time. And as Jeff said, it's been a long time coming. It seems like our school system has been under continuous construction, renovation, and expansion for the last 10, 15, 20 years. And over the years, and I'm sure Nancy can attest to this as well, there's a few questions us board of ed, about board of ed members get asked a lot. Like, Psst, it's gonna snow tomorrow. Are you guys gonna close school? <laughs> or the ever important, who's gonna be the new high school football coach? But surely the top questions we've heard over the year is, when are you all gonna build East Forsyth High? Well, this area, one of the best, best kept secrets for Forsyth County has the students now, and it was finally time to build East Forsyth High. The design is fabulous, thank you BRPH. The programs, the pathways, the equipment are ready to go. Thank you Principal Cheney, teaching and learning staff, especially Dr. Lowe, Jennifer, and facilities. The construction from start to finish through the challenges of COVID, supply chain issues, and hitting rock. As Jeff said, thank you to the facilities department starting back with Tim Anderson, and yes, Mr. Sewell, Greg Pruitt, Matt Work, and of course, Tom Lenning, and the whole crew for all their work. And last but not least, our partner many times over, Carol Daniel Construction for building for Scythe County Schools yet another state-of-the-art facility. As you tour this building with its spacious classrooms, all the new technology, exciting CTA equipment, you'll note, yes, it is indeed a state-of-the-art facility. But after talking to a colleague of mine who recently took a tour of the building, he really put it into perspective for me. Yes, we have a fantastic new building. But more importantly, the building and the opening of Easter Site is a celebration of what this area has been and will become over the years. Jeff Channing, you've done an incredible job with this high school around the community, for the community, and with the community. It's not just about this high school. It's been designed with all the future schools in mind and in keeping within the character and the needs of the community where it's been built. And that's what we're here to celebrate today the opening of East Forsyth High, and the community that welcomes it. Thank you, Mr. Cheney, for your vision and your leadership in bringing everything together to make this happen. And now I'd like to take a quick break from the scripts and welcome Commissioner Chair Cindy Mills to speak on behalf of the district where she lives, and this is a special day for her. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kristen, I appreciate that y'all asked me to be a part of today, and it is a big day for our community, and I think that that's what makes this school so special. I know that um, it's been a long time coming. There's been a lot of people in the community that uh, wanted this to happen a long time ago, and when I was trying to think of a few remarks for my two minutes, and I promise I'm going to try not to go over. I can't hardly say my name in two minutes, but I've got that southern accent going. But I, I wanted to, uh, I was thinking about that things don't happen as quick as we want them to in life lots of times, and yet we look back on it and we see the wine. And I thought about Ecclesiastes 3, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And I think that had this school happened sooner, it wouldn't be what it is today, and it wouldn't serve the purpose in our community that it's serving. And I think that that is the exact reason why it's the perfect opportunity that it is now. And I, I look at all the programs that are, I've been through the school a few times now, and all the offerings that are, are being put in place for our students that they need so desperately. And I, I see the purpose of why it would have, it's so much better that it's happening now than if it happened in 2012 or 2011. Uh, the, it's so much better that it's now and sometimes we can't see you know we see through the glass darkly and we see the benefits that it would have been so much better then but no it wouldn't it's so much better that it is happening now so for the grateful heart I am so thankful that it is happening now today because 
It is so much better for our kids and what it's bringing forth today. And I'm thankful for all the programs because I can see all the benefits that can come for our children. And that's what it's all about, is our kids and all the benefits that they, it can bring to them. And I look forward to partnering, uh, not just through the county, but through our Rotary Club and through all the different means that we have in our community and being a partner here at the, at the school and being able to do a lot of great things to come uh, for the kids and being able to fill the gaps. And I encourage the community because that's really what makes a school so great. And I was, I did a little question thing about Chester T community last night and back when the high school used to be here. That's what makes this high school different is that all the other high schools that have been built were built sort of the brand new. They had never been before. But this high school is walking into a bit of history because there was a Chester T High School that used to exist. And uh, a lot of people were hoping, well, maybe we can name it Chester T. Well, no, there's Chester T Elementary. But there was a high school before, way, way, way back. And it had some history. And it won some, no state championships. I got on Facebook and asked last night. But it did have just basketball and it did have some, some, big shoes to walk behind, to fill. And uh, I don't know if Mr. Cheney wants to try to fill Mr. Dinner, the principal back then's shoes, because he was principal and the girls and boys basketball coach. I'll try. He said he'd try. And, uh, and, he, and he did really good. He had a bunch of top 16 finishes, and uh, he did make it to the state champion. Not, he didn't win. But, Anyway, I think that if we can, though, have that spirit of community and bring that to, to here, that's, that we find in our churches in the area and everything else, this school will do just incredibly well because it, it has all the ingredients for great success. So thank you so much for letting me be a part. I know Darla wish she could be here today because she's as excited as everybody else about it. Thank you so much. Good morning. My name is Brian Daniel. I'm president and CEO of Carolina Construction Company. We were uh, we were the construction company I mentioned a couple of times, fortunate enough to, to, to build this facility. And uh, you know, listening to the Ecclesiastes quote, I think there's a season. You know, we we have the best job in the world. That part of what we do is we get to build learning environments in Forsyth County and around the state. And you know, in, in this past year, it gives you a different perspective when those learning environments get taken away from you, right? And as a father. Uh, it really is, uh, it, it, it's so neat to walk into a new facility. And, um, I, I was uh, telling the principal, Jenny, that, that uh, the, you know, the, the hard work was, uh, he was about to start, he reminded me real quick, he'd been working real hard all along in the So uh, hard work's not just starting for the, the educators here, but uh, there's certainly what it's intended purpose for is, is about to begin. So look, we're, uh, we're so delighted to be a part of this project and uh, play, a, play a role in uh, what, what, the, uh, what the real true work will be here going forward in the future, and uh, uh, it's inspiring to, to see this community, the continued growth and uh, in the leadership and uh, in, in the, uh, the uh, board of education and, and the council and the commission. Uh, lots of hands go into building a building like this, um, so I'd be remiss if I didn't do a list of thank yous. Uh, our partner, uh, the board of education, uh, Jefferson Morrissey, your, uh, your, your board, thank you very much. Uh, for your partnership. Uh, Dr. Bearden, great leader. We appreciate your continued partnership. You used that word a few times, and uh, we very much see uh, Forsyth County's relationship as a partnership. We've been working here for, for many, many years, and I'm uh, grateful to continue. Uh, we have uh, an amazing staff here at Forsyth County to work with. Uh, you guys represent the county very well. Uh, Tom Wedding, I see in the back. Tom, a pleasure to work with you as, as always. Matt Ward, uh, thank you for your partnership and, and help. Jan Seltz, uh, Greg Pruitt, uh, you guys are fantastic to work with. Uh, we do have some uh, blasts from the past names. So Tim Emerson, it's good to see you back in the audience. And, uh, and even Robert Sewell. Robert, it's great to see you again out there. Uh, pleasure talking to you again this morning. Uh, our team uh, at Carolina Construction Company was uh, led by uh, David Stone, who was our VP and uh, uh, Division Manager, uh, Diane Carter, our Operations Manager, Cody Ledford was out here every day, uh, Cody was the Project Manager, uh, boots on the ground with uh, uh, Assistant Rebecca Barber, 
James Chance. Where's James? James is the man right there. That's the superintendent on the job. James is the one that was out here uh, every day and controlling the field forces. Uh, my son worked out here one summer for him, and you know, all kind of James Chance stories. So James is a great leader for us. Jesse Neal, Mitch McHugh, uh, Weston Davis, uh, all here, here. Thank you very much, guys. BRPH Architects and their engineering associates were fantastic partners for us along the way. A whole team of subcontractors. You know, it would take me all afternoon, I know you don't want to hear me list all that stuff, but I will tell you that there were 1,700,000 man hours involved in building this building. So you think of all the hands that go into putting all these nice blocks and veneers and carpets in place that you see. A lot of work, and, and we had a lot of apprentices and young people as we try to take students that come out of uh, Forsyth County Schools and, and other learning environments and put them into the workforce. Uh, we use this uh, as, a, as a tool to help them continue their, their development, so a uh, great, great opportunity for us. Again, guys, thank you very much for having us and uh, allowing us to continue that partnership, and uh, we look forward to seeing this, uh, this school educate kids for, for many years to come. Thank you. If I can introduce uh, Jeff Cheney, principal. I have a lot of notes myself. Um, good morning, welcome to East for Psych High School. I'm Jeff Cheney, the lucky principal who had the honor of leading this amazing school. Before we start, I know there's some media here. I am not the basketball coach for girls and boys basketball. <laughs> We recruited and hired amazing coaches. The girls coaches coming from Roanoke, Virginia, uh, was in the state championship game this past uh, school year. And um, Coach Bracco is coming from Lambert High School. So we have two amazing coaches. Um, this is kind of like, uh, selfishly like building a house. And you really become attached to the process in the school. And I can't say enough about uh, how grateful we were to have a, a hand and a part in every piece of this school, from the color of these cushions and fabric that you're sitting on, to the arms, to the color of the flooring, to the tile. We really had an opportunity to bring a team together and really pick out what we thought was an amazing aesthetic and a warm, inviting place for our students and our community. So. Superintendent Dr. Bearden, Chairwoman Morrissey, valued guests, first and foremost, thank you for supporting the creation of East Forsyth High School. This campus and the facilities have exceeded all of our expectations for a state-of-the-art learning environment. I might be just a little biased, but in my 26 years in education, this is the most amazing facility I've ever seen. It is Gorgeous, beautiful, and amazing. Many thanks to BRPH engineers, Carol Daniels Construction, Forsyth County Schools, facilities, maintenance, warehouse and furniture, technology services, human resources, and the whole construction management crew. <coughs> Everyone was so committed to making this a very special place. There was nothing standard or blasé about the operation and how this was put together. I want to say a special thanks to Commissioner Mills. She's been a huge support in the North community where I came from prior. Um, you know, I used to be the principal of South Forsyth High School and I was named principal there. I moved from the South Side up to the East Side. I live in the East community. And now I'm the East principal, so all my students are, uh, will be in my neighborhood again, but I look forward to that. And thank you to Darla Light, who has been such a strong supporter and advocate for this school and community. Today, we officially open our doors. We intentionally designed our programs and pathways to allow our students to have an opportunity to play a major part in building the future of East for Sight. As a design-themed school, our goal is to make this campus the anchor of our community. The East Vertical Team, Chattahoochee Elementary, Chesity Elementary, Little Mill Middle School, and of course East Forsyth. We are very committed to working together to do what is best for our students and families 
we're calling our four schools Team One East. Our Be Better model will focus on always striving to become better students and better educators, working toward a better community. This work will always be connected and rooted in our values and commitment to connect, collaborate, and care for all. Thank you for being here today to celebrate and support our new school. We will now move to the front main entrance for the ribbon cutting. The front main entrance is going to be down this center hallway, right, and then your first main hallway up to the front. Immediately following the ribbon cutting, all visitors and guests will have an opportunity to see the campus. The following people will need to please report to the ribbon for a photo and to participate in the cutting ceremony. Lindsay Adams, Kristen Morrissey, Wes McCall, I guess Dr. Bearden, too, should be there. <laughs> uh, commissioners uh, Cindy Mills and Todd Levin, Tax Commissioner Matthew Ledbetter, and Sheriff Ron Freeman. Those folks would report. And so at this time, this portion is adjourned, and we will head that way. Thank you, and go Broncos! <laughs>
Riverside High School. After the ribbon cutting, we welcome you to walk our beautiful campus and see this amazing facility. We'll have staff and students stationed throughout the school to assist you with directions and talk to you about East. We have maps available inside the main entrance and with staff throughout the school. During the cutting of the ribbon, a nearby community member, our neighbor, Mr. Bill Burris, will ring the bell that he donated to the school to signify the opening of East Forsyth High School. As soon as we cut, you're welcome in the building. Go Broncos! Woo! 